Today I want to try out this new pick I've just made. I had a little tiny bit of 1.6mm piano wire left over, so rather than throw it away, I've just basically glued it between two old pennies. So it seems okay. I've not used it yet. I'm going to see if I can pick open this Yale 5 litre sash lock with it. I've picked this one in the past, but only in the vice. That's a bit in under key. So I'm going to try to pick it open in my hand using a bent nail tension tool and this little penny pick I've just made. Penny pick, I like that. Right, let's see if we can get into it. Easy to slip into a false gate in this lock. Like I said, I've picked it in the past, but only in the vice. Just as I said that, we went into a false gate. It'll probably take a few attempts to get this one open. Like so I've not used this pick before. And I've not picked this lock in my hand before, so it's... Just getting the feel of things. So yeah, if you've only got a little tiny bit of piano wire left over, you can make stubby little picks. I like them either. No good if you're a locksmith and uh, the lock's in the door because obviously you need a longer length to get through the, through the door. But if you're just picking in your hand at home, like I do for a bit of fun, full scat again. Uh, yeah, they're perfect. And basically, all you need to do is get a couple of coins, stick some epoxy resin or glue or whatever in between the coins stick your wire in put a bit of a bend on the wire don't just stick it in straight because obviously it'd spin but if you put a little bit of a bend on it it won't spin and then just clamp them up in the vice leave them to set overnight and you've got yourself a little pick and you ain't done anything wrong to the coins you can always just put a bit of heat on it Melt the glue, and the coins will be just the same as they was before. I know some people are a bit funny about defacing coins, but like I say, it's uh, it's not done any damage to the coins. There's loads of these old pennies flying around. In fact, there was a woman on the car boot fair last week. She was selling uh, selling them at twenty p each, five for a pound. So. These are coins I've had. I've had these in the cupboard. I've had them ages. I'm sure everybody's got a few old pennies lying around. But the old pennies was quite big, as you can see. It's a decent size. Well, I'm chatting away. I'm not getting anywhere with this lock, so... Let's just go quiet and just put a little bit of concentration into it so we can get it open. We get it. So yeah, lovely lock that. Not bad to pick at all. So what we'll do, in case you missed the video when I picked it in the vice, we will just have a quick look at the levers. Yeah, I used to use washers to make these picks. And washers are okay, they work fine. But the trouble with washers is they don't look very nice. And I think that looks pretty cool compared to two ugly washers. Anyway, back onto this lock. That's the first lever, see? Anti-pick in the top. Move them out of the way. Stick me pick there. Second anti-pick in the bottom. Third anti-pick in the top. Always hard to get out when you get to the bottom. Fourth, anti picking the bottom. And the last but not least, I can get him out, is anti picking the top. So that's a Yale five lever sash lock picked using my new penny lock pick. And that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.